My name is Greg Maluka, I'm the Managing Director of Car FM. Um, you might be wondering why we're in a quieter space um, right now. We are still at the Car FM wine and malt whiskey affair. We just took advantage of the presidential suite here at the Hyatt, who are also friends of ours, uh, to you know, come and have this conversation. Downstairs is a bit of, uh, I wouldn't say chaos and commotion, but a lot of tasting and a, a lot of enjoyment. We're quite excited about this event. This is the third one this year. The first has always landed itself as a you know, great space for us to host this event. Um, and we have probably um, you know, not probably, but actually some of the best uh, whiskey uh, brands that are being showcased today and some really fantastic wines. Uh, two hits for me, or maybe three, um, would be the Villa Fonte, the Series C has always been one of my favorites. Um, and you know, some really great whiskeys, the Balvin being one of that. There's a nice collection uh, of the Nika, which is Japanese made whiskeys. You know, and a variety of others, and it's you know wines from different regions, Stellenbosch, Robertsons, and so forth. Quite a great affair, so to speak. Um, why we do this? Well, it's important to find a space where Afropolitans can gather and uh, you know have a a smaller, um, you know, kind of closer engagement um, and a learning process more than anything. Us putting this event together. It's really to create a space where um, you know our listeners can engage uh, at a closer and more personal um, you know space and environment and, and learn a bit more about the whiskey, uh, discover other things because it's also about discovery. It's also about creating an environment where people can discover other drinks or other varieties, um, but also just to you know hang out and, and meet them and, and and see a few of them. We do outside broadcasts. Uh, so, you know, they also get to meet some of the guys that they enjoy listening to. Um, you also get to see people that you haven't seen in a very long time that just pop in. Um, you know, we have a lot of uh, listeners who are extremely loyal, who come out and, you know, we get to see them in a, again, a much smaller environment. You get to have meaningful conversations and so forth. Part of the wine and malt whiskey affair um, is obviously the master classes that are um, hosted by a variety of experts, you know, both in wine and, and whiskey. It's a space where, again, when you want to take on the depth of the heritage, um, you know, the story of the brand, it also adds a little bit of flair and flavor um, in, in the conversation around whiskey. Um, and, and having these experts is, is really fantastic because you know our listeners demand these types of things. They look for these experiences where they are able to, you know, not only enjoy the beverage for its taste, but really to you know understand um, its journey, its history, and where it's from. So um, you know, having these master classes adds a little bit of much more smaller engagement space, much more private. You know, people can ask um, in-depth questions and so forth. So. We really um, like that addition uh, to, to the event. Part of what we like about hosting this event um, in particular is also the fact that you know, the education is not just about the beverage, but it's also about how you can enjoy the beverage. Um, you know, we do have a challenge in our country, like most countries around the world, where you know, alcohol is an issue uh, you know, from a consumption point of view. Uh, people are, you know, we, we read, you know, policies and laws that have been put in place. In fact, already in the country, there's some proposals around, um, you know, consumption age being pushed to 21. Um, and these things are important because the idea is not to have a, a society that's not educated around these things because, you know, the less educated you're on these beverages, um, you know, the more there's a lot of abuse. Um, you know, on it. These are high-end brands, you know, these are uh, brands that, you know, took time to put together. These are brands that are enjoyed by people who are sophisticated. These are hard-working individuals, you know, who look to find ways to relax and enjoy life. You know what, I think, you know, this particular event um, would not have been possible without partners, uh, or mutual being our major partner. Um, in this particular case, you know, who you know, are very much involved also just in uh, uh, wine. They also host the 
you know, uh, one trophy event um, and, you know, having Wade Bales and his uh, expertise um, as well and some of the members of the society joining us at this thing is also quite excited. The Furs is also a very important partner with us. Uh, this venue works perfectly. You know, we practically live here. Um, you know, having access to, you know, the Hyatt and being able to enjoy some of the splendors of the Hyatt and, and, and you know, the great stuff that's here is, um, you know, also, you know, quite an incredible opportunity. Um, you know, and of course, you know, looking forward next year, we're looking at a, um, you know, bigger, better, you know, more variety, um, you know, and, and bigger, better doesn't necessarily mean more people. It just means, you know, an increased level of quality for people who already enjoy, um, you know, sophisticated drinks.